Hello, this is Brian Mounts around turfmechanic.com and today we're going to talk about lawn fertilizing the organic way, like the really organic way. If you want to get into organic lawn care the right way, then this video is for you. All right, as you see here, I've got five products. If you're going to fertilize your lawn this season or any season or for the rest of your life using organic products, you are probably going to be applying these five ingredients to your lawn regularly forever, even if you don't buy them as standalone products, because these are the root, kind of the, the base ingredients that go into basically everything in the organic lawn care product space. Here we've got feather meal. This is a 12-0-0. It's 12% nitrogen. It's a slow release. You put it on the ground. Microbial life has to break the product down and turn it into a nitrogen source that plants can actually uptake. That takes some time. Blood meal is also a 12-0-0. And it's exactly the same as feather meal, except for the fact that microbes can usually break it down a little bit faster. Now, if you go oh, and pick up a bag of organic lawn food. I don't know if you can see me behind the big bag. It doesn't really matter which one it is. Most of them are going to contain either feather meal or blood meal or a combination of the two. Now, if it's a combination of the two, you're gonna get slightly faster acting results from the blood meal, followed by a delayed response of the feather meal. It's gonna end up lasting you about eight to 12 weeks kind of like a Melorganite style product. Melorganite is a wildly popular organic fertilizer uh, that does not use bone meal or blood meal. Its main ingredient is the municipal waste system from the town, uh, the city of Milwaukee. Um, it's just different ingredients and they, all of these ingredients provide slow release organic nitrogen that the lawns can use after microbial life breaks the products down. Now, these are 12-0-0s. Melorganite is a 6-4-0. Melorganite has a smaller concentration of nitrogen per pound uh, than these products do, but it also includes phosphorus, which these products do not. There's actually not a lot of phosphorus-based products that we can put down on the lawn. One of the ones that is there is bone meal. Now, bone meal, usually you're gonna find it in like steamed, powdered bone meal form. This is used frequently in gardens. It's very hard to apply to a lawn because it's basically a powder. These things are close to powders also, so they're also very hard to apply to a lawn. Now, most lawn products don't include bone meal in them because we don't wanna over apply ph phosphorus to our lawns. Now, there is one organic lawn care product out there that I know of off the top of my head that does include bone meal, bone meal on the ingredients list, and that's the Scott's Naturals line. Scott's Naturals include a combination of these with bone meal, and it also includes meat meal, which I don't have here uh, on display for you. That one, I, you don't see that on the label quite as often. Now, other organic lawn fertilizers are gonna use soybean meal as one of their main sources of nitrogen. This is a 712. This one, as you can tell, has a little bit of potassium and phosphorus in it, not very much, especially the phosphorus. That one for phosphorus is a very small percentage and it's not going to uh, be very meaningful unless you're putting an awful lot of soybean meal down. Now, if you watch my NPK video, the one where I talk about uh, the ideal uh, ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium over the course of the season, you're going to find that I like this 7-1. I prefer an 8-2, but 7-1 is pretty close, but it's still lacking in the potassium department. Now, for me, that's okay because I use liquid aeration products a little bit later in the year. Liquid aer aeration products um, are going down into the lawn to kind of feed the microbial life, um, improve the soil structure, but they also tend to be high in potassium. Most of these products add potash into their product line, and because these are organics, they use sulfate of potash, uh, the SOP version. 
Uh, that is the only version of potash that can be labeled organic. The MOP version can't. So you're always going to see sulfate of potash kind of added into these things. They're never really added in enough to make that third number particularly large. If you want to get a larger percentage of your product going down with potash, alfalfa meal is your best option. As you can tell, this is, what is this, two and a half? No, it's two. It's a two, one, two. Some of these lawn care products throw in uh, alfalfa meal into the ingredient mix so that they can get some uh, potassium in there uh, that does not come from sulfate of potash. So obviously it's an organic form um, and it is in balance, like it's two to two nitrogen to potash, whereas this is seven two. So if you're doing a feather meal based product and you want some uh, potassium in there, um, it can be mixed with alfalfa meal. Now there's some side benefits of using alfalfa meal. Alfalfa meal has uh, this extra little chemical, this naturally occurring chemical in there. It's called triacontinol. Triacontinol is this uh, substance that is basically a growth stimulant for plants. Um, as opposed to applying a direct product uh, to stimulate root growth or plant growth, um, the uh, tricontinol in alfalfa meal is going to imp improve the photosynthesis process and kind of speed up the activity, the natural processes that occur in the grass plant. So you do get a benefit of putting alfalfa meal on the ground on top of the uh, potassium that occurs in the product naturally. Now, if you really want to go the natural route, instead of getting like mined, like sulfate of potash, uh, you could put down this product called langonite, which I also don't have on display here. Langonite is this, it's this mineral deposit that's mined out of the state of Utah, I believe. Uh, it's kind of like this uh, volcanic ash eruption from like, I don't know, eons ago uh, that they mine out. It's a 0022. As far as I understand, I've never, I've never physically applied it to the lawn. It's kind of in this like crystallized mealy form. It's, in it's another one of those products that is gonna be a little bit harder to apply to the lawn because it's not mixed into spreadable granules. Spreadable granules is basically the reason that we buy lawn, organic lawn fertilizers instead of the ingredients. The ingredients are always very difficult to apply to a lawn. They're really easy to put into garden beds and you know, if you're a vegetable gardener, you can mix it into the soil before you plant or transplant your plants. But in a lawn setting, we can't mix it in. We have to apply as a top dressing and then water it in. So granules make that process a lot easier. Certainly you could just buy these ingredients and apply them yourself, but it's going to be hard to get even distribution. Now there are products that, uh, let's see, the Anderson's company makes a soybean meal product. Uh, which is basically just soybean meal. So you're getting a little bit of everything, but you're still lacking on the potassium. Scott's product has some bone meal. I don't believe any of the others off the top of my head include that, but almost all of them are going to include one of these four, and especially these two. Now, malorganite doesn't include any of these. Malorganite is their own category of, of organic product. So if you're going to be be putting malorganite down. I have a video about malorganite and the problems people have using it. It's going to be linked in the description below if you haven't seen it. In that video, I still say that I will be using malorganite, but it is heavy in phosphorus. So I can't use it only. I have to pair it with something else. So what I'll probably be doing for the foreseeable future is mixing it with this product from Jonathan Green. This is feather meal and soybean meal and blood meal, but not very much of this. So it's mostly these. So it's 12 00s. Uh, and then if I apply that and I apply malorganite, then I'm getting my phosphorus. And then later in the season, mid to late spring, through the summer and into the early fall, as I apply my liquid aeration products, um, I will be getting the potassium lacking in this nitrogen regimen, and that's going to give me a broad spectrum of macronutrients over the course of the whole season.
Now, if you don't want to put down a liquid aeration product, there are dedicated potassium products out there. Uh, like I said, most potassium products are going to be using the, the MOP version, which is non-organic. Uh, there is a product on Yard Mastery called their Summer S Stress Blend, I believe. Uh, it's a 7020. They do use some MOP, but they also use some SOP with uh, the Langbanite uh, ingredient. The reason I say that it, it's that uh, langbanite version is because it comes with the magnesium that you get when you apply straight langbanite to a, a lawn or a garden setting. Always important in fertilizing with micronutrients. You should be keeping your calcium and your, and your magnesium in line. So if you are going to be putting down the uh, langbanite all by itself, lang langbanite, I always say it wrong, uh, the langbanite uh, by itself, you're going to need to get a little bit of calcium down on the lawn. Otherwise, you're eventually going to have too much magnesium, like your ratio is going to be thrown off. The Yard Mastery Blend isn't going to be perfectly organic like some of these products are, uh, simply because they use some MOP uh, according to the label. Uh, but it's an excellent option out there. It's at least something for you to toss around. In organic lawn care, these are the main ingredients that you're going to see all the time on every label. It's just a different mix. You're going to have to keep tabs on the amount of NPK that's going down onto the lawn because you will have to supplement with something because these bags, not like none of them, have everything in them. I definitely recommend that you watch the next video. It's going to be linked up here and it's all about comparing the lawn products uh, that deliver organic fertilizers to the grass. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you very much for watching.